Alright guys, my brakes do not work that well for my rear brake. I bled them. They don't work that well, but I don't care. I think they work well enough, so. We're gonna pop a wheelie for this guy. was high at first and then it was just holy sh holy sh oh oh sh oh sh <laughs> I just lost my front brakes <laughs> I'm shaking <laughs> I, yeah, I hit the brakes and it caught and I and I could just feel that it, it felt like my brakes were like stopping really hard. Well, I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, well, that's gonna need a new brake line. Damn it! Did it actually catch it? Yeah, it straight up busted everything. And then I just pressed the brakes a second ago. I saw something squirt out here. Where's that coming from? It's coming from right here. This is where it snapped off. Ah, dang, that's unfortunate. Well, I'm gonna carefully ride home. I'll follow you. Dude, this thing's probably gonna get caught on something. I should just rip it off or something. Or tie it. Tie it somewhere. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, tie it like right here. Can I turn right if I do that? I don't want it to. If it gets caught again, though, it's gonna rip out my coolant shit. So let's just. Yeah. <sighs> That's fucking strong. Okay, we'll tie it to the right here then. Yeah, it should be good right there. Respectfully. Gosh dang it, dude. I should have kept the front fairing piece instead of giving that one away. Maybe. Well, at least until I got the other ones. <clears throat> Damn, I hope this doesn't get brake fluid on the front tire. Yeah, that would not be good. Now I need to go back. It's probably going to splash on the exhaust. I'm gonna ride home slow. <sighs> Damn, that's unfortunate. Could have gone worse. It could have been on the highway where I really needed my brakes. You can't really tell, but when this happened, it felt like my brakes were just getting yanked like super hard. Um, actually, at first, I thought I was about to flip over the front of the bike. I didn't really know what was going on. And then I, I kind of realized that it was probably my, my brake lines getting caught on the tire. I'm still not really sure if it pulled the brake pads or if it was pulling just the the brake lines and uh, so I don't, I'm not really sure what I was feeling, but it felt like it was braking like super hard. So I don't know if I had been going faster on the highway or something like that, if I could have flipped over. Uh, probably the worst case scenario would have been if, if this had happened in the middle of a curve and got brake fluid all over my tire. Uh, it definitely could have gone worse, but I didn't go down. So when I guess when something breaks, that's like best case scenario. You, just, you don't even go down or anything. So I don't know. So I guess to anybody who is considering riding without a, a front fender on your tire, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I kind of thought this would happen, so I did some like some zip tie work to try to prevent this from happening. 
Uh, but it happened anyway. And I'm kind of dumb because I, I literally thought about it. And I didn't even ask anybody, hey, what do you think about this? Because I've seen people riding before who didn't have front fenders. And I'm sure, you know, that, that probably didn't last very long. Actually, now that I think about it, the only person I've ever seen without a front fender, I'm pretty sure he told me he didn't have front brakes. So, yeah, I don't know. If you've never done this before and you were going to consider it at some point in your life, just remember, just don't do it. It's it's not smart. I knew it probably wasn't going to work out. Uh I didn't I'm I'm actually pretty lucky that this happened like very early into riding and not like in the middle of like trying to go real fast or whatever like I was only going like 40 when this happened so I, I'd consider myself pretty lucky um so yeah learn from me aside from that uh, my fairings still aren't here they should have been here June 2nd but they're not here I don't know when they're gonna get here um, I don't know when I'm gonna have this brake line fixed this video is gonna probably be out pretty soon and so the last one I, I said my bearings my wheel bearings weren't gonna be here till mid-June but I got some ones off of Amazon I got the OEM ones and the Amazon ones but since the OEM ones were gonna be here like is gonna take so long I, I went ahead and got some uh, Amazon ones to use until I got the other ones and then I realized how much of a pain in the ass it is to replace your wheel bearings so on second thought when the other ones get here I'm gonna just leave them like as a backup and hope that uh, the ones I have right now don't explode in my rear wheel because that would suck uh, but I don't know. I didn't I didn't go for the cheapest ones. I spent like 50 bucks on these So maybe they're not that bad. Hopefully they're not that bad. They fit and they looked exactly like the other ones So hopefully they're not uh, hopefully they'll be okay I'm also switching up sprockets the chain and the front sprocket came in but the rear sprocket didn't um, But I don't know by the time I ride again I'll probably have all my fairings because I'm not once I get my replacement once I replace the front brake lines, I'm not going to ride again until uh, until I get that front fender piece because I don't feel like just going through brake lines over and over again because I'm probably not going to get that lucky a second time. So, I don't know. Uh, if I end up not posting for a while, I'm not dead, just so you know. I'm not even riding, so the chances of dying are pretty low. Anyway, yeah, that's about it.